Most people pick their main characters based on what is overpowered, whether a specific class or a specific spec has received buffs or nerfs. Others pick their main class based on what is flavor of the month, what seems to be most powerful or what is anticipated to be extremely powerful and might dominate people's popular pick. Others look at leaderboards and what the most proficient players in the world choose to main. Whether we're talking top level people from the top 1% guilds, whether it is in PvE or PvP, that is something that is going to influence their decision making when picking a main character. And of course, for some people, they only play what is a comfortable pick for them, regardless of the state of that class or of that spec, regardless of what they bring to the table, and regardless of whether they're going to be an asset to the team or if they're going to drag down the team. This is a very one-dimensional way of processing a pretty complex question, and it's an emotional way of making a rational decision. And whilst I understand why this is so popular among the player base, I believe we can do better. Now, I have experience for over two decades of playing games that require you to make complex decisions such as this one. So over the years, I have developed a six step process in order to simplify things. And in this video, I want to share that with you in order to assist you in picking your main character. Now, while I am using World of Warcraft as an example for this specific video, I want you to know that this applies to any MMO out there, role playing game, and you can even use the six step process in order to determine what your main is going to be in the upcoming Diablo 4 game. Stick until the end of this video, hear me out, and if you get value from this, give the video a thumbs up, and if you disagree, you say, Bogdan, you have no idea what you're talking about. That's okay, give this video a thumbs down. Now let's get right into it. So the first step that I want you to consider when picking out your main character is the activities, meaning, what do you intend to spend most of the time doing when playing the game? And the easiest way for me to identify on my side is by applying the 80-20 rule. Because let's face it, you won't spend 100% of your time doing only one thing. You will divide your time based on different things. So here are some examples of activities that you can do in an MMO such as World of Warcraft. You can raid, you can do Mythic Plus, you can do rated PvP, or you can do casual PvP. Others choose activities such as gold making or profession farming, whilst others play the game from the perspective of collecting pretty much everything, whether it's transmog, whether it's mounts, pets, achievements. Once you identify what is the number one activity where you will spend the most of your time in game, then you're going to have a much better idea towards which class and even which spec you tend to gravitate towards. Okay, now let's get into step number two. And I'm going to ask you this question. For how long do you plan on playing? Meaning, is this something that you want to try out for the next few days? Are you willing to dedicate a couple of weeks, a month, the whole patch, even the whole entire expansion? You need to ask yourself that question before making that decision. Because if you're going to main something for the first half and then you want to switch halfway through a patch, it might not be that easy. And if you are part of an organized group, that might completely throw them off and it might affect them as well as their perception of you. So here's step number three. And the question is, with whom do you intend to do these activities with? Are they some random pickup groups? Are they part of your friends list, your guild mates, your real life friends? Or maybe you have a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel or any other social media where you have gathered a following and you intend to do this with your viewers, with your subscribers, or maybe with your supporters from Patreon or some other platforms. Or maybe your intention is to get to the top 1% within the world and do activities with those people. 
or maybe you're already part of them and you're having a little bit of a tough time deciding what your main is going to be. Knowing exactly with whom you're going to do the activities that you intend on doing for the foreseeable time is going to give you some clear indications on whether or not that is the main that you want to pick. Now for step number four, I'm going to focus primarily on you and ask you the question which you need to ask yourself in return what matters most to me so what matters most to you let me give you a couple of examples for some people it's all about that class fantasy so you might really enjoy playing a rogue but when it comes to any other melee the class fantasy just isn't there and you don't want to touch any other melee in the game except the rogue and maybe for you it's all about looks and aesthetics And since the best performance that you can get out of your specific class or spec requires you to play a certain race because of the way in which it looks and maybe because of the access that it has to certain transmog items, you just can't bring yourself to do it. It might sound odd for some of you, but listen, looks and appearances are pretty much the way in which we decide almost everything in the world is how we judge first impressions. Some of the other things that people are going to consider is what is overpowered? What is flavor of the month? What are the top 1% of players playing? What is the number one influencer that I'm following? What is the number one content creator that I'm following playing? What do they intend to do? What are my friends doing? And should I do the same thing as they do just so they can look at me and think, that I'm cool like them. And some other things that are important to people are rotation and flow, especially when it comes to a DPS spec. If it's clunky and it's very difficult and it doesn't really feel like you're in a state of flow, it will be very difficult to execute and it might get very boring. Also for some people, they might prefer a simplistic way of playing such as the Retribution Paladin, something that is a little bit more complex, like keeping track of multiple damage over time effects, multiple buffs like with Pharaohs, or maybe something like a Windwalker Monk. It tends to be a little bit more on the complex side or the unholy DK. They might be turned off about that. And ultimately, you also need to understand whether you want to be more on the casual side or you like challenging yourself. So be very honest and clear on this. What matters most to you? Is it casualness? Complexity? Is it a challenge? Is it a comfort pick? You decide for yourself. And once you do, let's move over to step number five. Again, I'm focusing on you. And the question that you need to ask yourself is a very direct question. And that is, what do you bring to the table? You see, while this doesn't apply to people that might be doing mount farming or achievement farming. When it comes to group activities such as raiding, PvP, Mythic Plus, any type of challenging content, whether it's in a player versus player format or a player versus environment format, you need to ask yourself, what do you bring to the table? And the answer could vary. It could be maybe you bring some unique buffs or maybe you have external group cooldowns that you can use in order to keep your group alive. Or maybe you're going to be able to use a certain cooldown to boost everybody's damage. Or maybe you do a combination of survivability and damage together. Maybe there is something unique about your specific class that no other class in the game can bring. Or maybe there is something specific to an encounter where you can bring a lot of burst DPS. Or maybe it's something like priority damage. Or maybe it's a lot of AoE damage. Maybe you bring a lot of great crowd control that is on a short cooldown and you can do this either in single target format or AoE format, which you can make the case as to why you should be brought. And then there's also something that is specific to the individual to the person to you you have maybe leadership skills maybe you have shot caller skills and what do i mean by that well look historically tanks have been looked at as sort of the leader of the group and range dps have been looked at as sort of the shot callers because they have a wider perspective of everything that is going on they can see also what happens in melee they can also see what happens at range and they have a much wider field of view which is why you see in many top guilds as well as as many top rated mythic plus teams tanks usually being the ones that are leading the group but the 
shot calling in terms of interrupts, CC, specific cooldowns, personal slash utility management tends to be shot called by a ranged player. And in some situations, it can even be the healer. But you need to ask yourself what exactly you bring to the table that is unique. So I'll give you a simple example. If you used to be a melee player and now your intention is to maybe main a ranged character, if you feel comfortable shot calling as a melee DPS, that is a very easily transferable skill to a ranged DPS. And of course, we're on to the final point, number six, which is a question that every single one of us need to ask ourselves after going through the first five initial steps and that is is all of that enough is everything we have discussed from step one to step five enough for us to say yeah this is going to be my new main character this is going to be my new main role my new main class my new main spec is that enough and it's a simple yes or no question if it's a no-brainer and you say you know what of course, yes, 100%, then that should be your main. But if you're hesitant or you're wondering, hmm, I don't think so, then the answer is pretty clear. It's no. It's either a clear yes or a no and a maybe, which both of them mean the same thing, which is no. Be honest with yourself. Be direct. Might hurt a little bit. It might sting a little bit. It might not be so popular, but it's going to give you that much more confidence in your decision making and what you want to do moving forward. Is this the right decision? Yes or no? If this is not enough for you to switch that maybe this is not the right main class or spec for you right now i need to be looking into a different one or maybe sticking with the old one that was it for this video i hope you got value from it and i was able to make a case that is a little bit different than the typical uh, just pick whatever is flavor of the month pick whatever is overpowered this got buffed by the patch note so you must clearly main this i was able to make a case that you can use whether you decide to play world of warcraft or maybe another mmo and if this has helped you because you're actually playing a completely different game and the knowledge and the wisdom that you got from this is going to help you there i would like to know in the comment section below if you want a pdf format of the six steps that have been discussed in this video i will have a link to it in the description box below it's going to take you to my patreon page and if you do decide to support this channel at a higher level i highly appreciate you and i encourage you to go check that out well that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the future videos we're uploading thank you very much for watching this one and i will see you guys in the next one if you want to watch another clip from the live stream, definitely click here. I recommend this one. And if you want to watch the full live stream, click here.